Liam, Liam, this is Jad. Oh, hey, sorry. Yeah. Jad's a producer from Phil. And Felicia over there. Yeah, it's fine. Hello, Liam. Hello, Scott. Hi, good to see you. Huh. That doesn't really need vacuuming, hey, Mike? It's your call, man. Uh, no, you need it fresh. I need it. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's fine. Jay and Mike had recorded at Private Ear with their other bands, so they were a lot more familiar with the studio. Um, JP Peters, he's got a, a great ear for music production value. And me being at home is great. I mean, I have a little baby at home, so it's kind of nice to be able to be close to my family. Day one coming in the studio, it's been a good vibe. JP is such like a positive, like stoked guy that it's really he he really relaxes you in any situation. He he's like not pretentious, and I think that makes everybody at ease and so much more comfortable. You know, when it comes to the recording process, I was into the idea of JP because again, this studio is awesome. I've been to it and great records have come out of it. He was putting out quality stuff, you know, for hardcore bands back in the early 2000s. But then fast forward to this year and he's, he's done a new Propagandi album and that's like a huge thing. And that's a band like that we've all listened to since we were young. JP's work speaks for itself. Been involved in a lot of great records. We brought this uh, really awesome drum tech, Tim, down to help us, um, you know, choose some of the drums. Some of the kits are his, so he knows them really well. He tunes them perfectly, and they sound incredible. I'm really happy because we're all taking the time to really get strong tones across the board. Yeah, I'm, so I'm thinking this will probably be your, uh, My your, zone? your box in there. Yeah. Bass, uh, bass and guitars are going to go in those rooms. From working with Gavin Brown, Eric Ratz and Kenny, to working with Ross Robinson. So it's like, what are all the tricks that we've learned from those guys and what we can learn from other guys to like inject into these songs ourselves? We're trying to keep a nice live feel so it feels like, you know, when we're playing live together. We wanted to play them tight so that we could all play them together on the floor. You can do a lot of fun things in the studio that make really cool records, but then you can't pull it off live and it's, it's a bummer. So we really wanted to get just like the fine tuning and then just run all the songs a million times until you're blue in the face. <laughs> they came out really great and it was really cool to like hear the difference between what our ideas were hashing around in the jam room and then hear them come to life in a, in a quality recording. We have done some stuff in the past where Mike and I will really like, we'll keep a lot like his drums and we'll keep some of the bass and we'll keep some of the vocal and stuff. Usually we'd have more time. That's a huge thing on this record. This is the least amount of time we've ever taken to make a record. Which is really funny when you think about it being your sixth album. You're like, this is our sixth album and we're taking the least amount of time to record it. The, the tough thing in the beginning, I think, was like the separation, us being away in Ontario and not like being able to have the direct conversation um, with JP about the album and, you know, thinking about it. Uh, but of course, like, Mike's here. Mike's having those conversations and we trust him. And, you know, the, the JP's work speaks for itself. 